Welcome back to Tech Garage presented by rockauto.com. Well, Project M&M, the Mercury makeover is back in the shop along with Tom from rockauto.com. Now, Tom, it only makes sense to turn our attention to maintenance items. You know, we did the check engine light. They were inexpensive fixes. We put the coils on, the EVAP system. We know we're ready to maintain this thing. Where do you think we should start? An oil change. That's Every car needs that periodically. It's yeah. Been, it's been a while on this car. It sure has been. And how are you going to do it? Start with the drain plug. Here we go. All right, so we'll pull the drain plug out. Now, oil change, it's a good idea to get the car warmed up to temperature. Go ahead and pull the drain plug out. I'll start working on the filters right up here. You get a filter wrench in here and crack the filter. Once I get the filter cracked and you get that oil draining, we'll get it out of there. Ooh, look at that. That's nice and black, huh? <laughs> yeah, I think it's been there a while. Cool. And here comes the oil filter. Very good. Now, you got a little tip when it comes to that drain plug, don't you? Yeah, yeah, these don't necessarily last forever. There's a, you can see there, there's a gasket built into the drain plug. So yeah. it's a good idea to, to change that every, every once in a while. Even if you take it to a quick lube, you might want to take one of those along and, and say, hey, put this on my car. Otherwise, you, you'll keep tightening it tighter every time to prevent drips, and you'll eventually strip out the oil pan, and, and that's a more costly repair. Yeah, costly that, repair <laughs> and a big maintenance one as well. All right, right well, I'll so. clean that off to you and hand it to you. Now I got the oil filter down, and the oil filter's job is actually to take all the debris out of the engine, sand and everything else. I mean, sand is sand. It's going to get into the cylinders. You can see a cutaway right here. All right, you can see here the filter media inside of here where it's actually going to come through, and that's going to actually filter all the oil. That's an important part of the oil change, Tom. I want to make sure I get all the debris out and not just drain the oil itself. Absolutely. This uh, drain apparatus came from rockauto.com, too. People may not know we have tools like this. And yeah, I'll tell you what, I mean, at Tech Garage, we ordered that, we ordered a bunch of specialty tools, and this is neat because, you know, I'm thinking I'm going to get parts there. Yeah, we got the filter, yeah, we got the oil, we got all the other stuff there that we're going to put on the car, but pan you wouldn't think about. I'm going to get this filter started, and you get the drain plug started, we'll get everything put back on this vehicle. Once we do that, you know what we need to do next? Head up top? <laughs> head up top. <laughs> yep, we're going to head up top and start putting the service items that need to be under the hood. Hey, Tom, look what I found. Actual oil sticker that come off the window in there. It's showing 10, 6, 14, but 54,000 miles. Man, we only got 55,000 miles, but you know what? We're four years overdue. Oil don't last forever. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was definitely wasn't a waste of time changing the oil. That's for sure. And we're also going to address some maintenance items. We're going to talk about the PCV valve. We're going to do the air filter while we're up here. And wipers are always a good choice. I mean, safety is a huge issue, especially with a car that hasn't been serviced in 10 years. Yep, sitting outside. Yeah. Tell us about the PCV valve. Well, the PCV system sucks the uh, air out of the crankcase and burns it up. So you, you don't have, it reduces the pressure buildup in the crankcase and it, it, it prevents uh, fumes from getting out in the air. The PCV valves have varied quite a bit in, in newer cars, how they look. It's no longer just that little L-shaped piece of plastic. This has an electrical connector on it. A good place to look is at rockauto.com in the catalog to find out what your, your particular PCV valve looks like so you can track it down. So we'll just plug in the new one. It's that easy. Now we'll turn our attention actually to the air filter. The air filter is an important part. We're filtering all the air. There's a ton of air going into the engine for every gallon of gasoline, and that's pretty easy. It's right here. I'm just going to pop off the air cleaner here, pull the cover off, and I'll snake it out of there without having to remove the whole air duct system. And you can see the air filter right here. Now, it looks eh, not too bad, Tom. It's not in bad shape. I mean, still should go ahead and place it. What do you think? Yeah, it's definitely something that wouldn't hurt, and, and it's worth the cost. So. And even though it doesn't look bad, check this out. This is pretty cool. I'm going to run this light through it. And you can barely see it over here on the dirty side. I mean, it's coming through, but it's even not in bad shape. It doesn't look too bad. But check out the new one right here. If I run it through the new one, I mean, you can see that light shining through there real bright. You know there's no debris in there. Going to go ahead and replace that, stick that in there, make sure we're getting some clean, fresh air into the system. How's it coming over there with the PCV valve? Uh, so we're getting a little balky, but I'll get it here. Yep getting your hands dirty. That's pretty cool. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Project M&M's coming along. It's looking good. Get the air filter in. Now I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put the wiper blades on. That's always a good idea. I mean, just deterioration alone. I don't know when they've been changed, but I can tell they're flat and sitting on there. Just pick the bottom of it. Tom, some of these wiper blades, man, you got to be a rocket scientist to get these jokers off. I mean, they are not easy. You going to go ahead and fill it up with oil? Yep. Awesome. I'll get this one on. Let's see, pop this little tab up here on the top. Once I pop the little tab up, I can just walk it in there, 
clip it on, lock it back down. It's just that easy. Now, Tom, we talked about a lot of these components and a lot of these components' views. I mean, that PCV valves, it really, I don't know what it is if I'm just dealing with the do-it-yourselfer. So what we can do is we can walk over to the computer, we can check that out, along with that oil drain plug that's used to replace that filter, so that actual gasket on it. So let's head over and check it out. Right, okay. Let me paint a scenario for you. We did our oil change on our M&M, but have you ever reached down to an oil plug and you started to take it out and you just knew there was too much force going on here, man? Somebody ripped that thing in there, cross-threaded it or whatever. It's dripping, it's leaking, major job. Can you fix this there? Yeah, absolutely. The, the oil drain plug is something you can change every, you know, fifth oil change or something. It's, it's not meant to be permanent in a lot of these vehicles. I'll, I'll show you on the, our Mercury. The oil drain plug has a, a gasket that comes with the oil drain plug. Right. You can see that here. This gasket, every time you compress it, it, it won't compress as far the next time. So It's only going to last so long, and what an awesome illustration. Yeah, even if you take it to a quick lube sort of shop, you can give them a drain plug and say, hey, please replace this rather than keep over-tightening. Yep. Can and I get just the O-ring? Yeah, you can just get gaskets for, for vehicles that don't have any gasket at all. These are great, for, uh, or, or this one just replace the O-ring. Yeah, I mean, I want to get a whole set of them and just keep them on hand when I do an oil change so we don't have any oil leaks. Yeah. Yep. Absolutely. Yeah, it's a lot easier, much cheaper to do this than replace an oil pan. Yeah, well, we put it on ours, and ours is not leaking, so it's a good idea. I'll tell you what, you don't have time to do an oil change, but you can get a quick snack because we'll be right back with more Tech Garage right after this commercial.